Dr. Christy Agraja here at Park Avenue Oculoplastic Surgeons. Today we're going to be injecting Bulbella in the lip um, in one of our patients. Bulbella is great. It's a smooth, syrupy-like um, filler and it's great for giving volume and almost wet, wetness to the lip along with treating the area above the lip where you can get vertical lines and it's something we commonly do here. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is uh, use an alcohol pad and clean you off a little bit. It's going to be a little bit, um, it's an alcohol pad, so it might be a little burny. Nope, don't feel it. Here's a tissue for you just in case you need it. And I like to give patients a mirror so they can look um, as we're doing it. The lip tends to be very subjective, so some patients really want a lot of volume and some patients want um, a little less volume, and so I like to sort of tailor it to whatever each patient wants. Okay, a little pinch. pinch here, sorry. There's a little central area right here that I want to treat. Pardon me, sorry. You can see how it just fills it up. Okay, take a look right here. This is just with a little volume. My eyes watering. Too. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. And that's just 0.2 cc's of the bobella in the lower lip. Wow. They're numb. <laughs> Pretty numb, yep. Mm -hmm. How do you like the volume? Good. Okay. I'm going to give you a little bit more in the upper area here. I can accentuate even the cupid's bow in the line. Mm -hmm. The lip can be a little more sensitive than under the eyes because the skin is thicker, so it doesn't absorb the numbing cream as much. We can use a numbing shot sometimes to uh, numb that area as well. <clears throat> little pinch. Coming over to this side. Little pinch here. One, two, three. Take a look right here. That's just with a little bit of volume in the upper, and it accentuates wow. that line there. I love it. Cool. I love it. That sounds good to me. Now, you're gonna do the rest in the I'm gonna lip go, itself. I'm gonna, inside the lip itself? No, I was just wiping that. Oh, okay. The top lip. I'm gonna go up there mm -hmm. just a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a little more sensitive. Okay. Okay. How'd you do with the other ones, though it hurt a little bit? Just the prick hurts, and then I didn't feel anything after the needle was in. Okay. Okay, this is going to be very, a little sensitive. One, two, three. Good. You want to create... Um, when you inject in that upper lip area, you don't want to go crazy with the volume because it actually can make the person look more duck-lipped, so you have to be a little careful with that. Excited. Okay, 
that's just with a very little volume. Go ahead, take a look. Yes. Okay. They just feel weird because they're numb, but yep. they look great. Mm -hmm. Lean back for a moment, <clears throat> turn your head towards me. Good. One little area here that I might just put mm -hmm. a little bit there. I saw that. And then, um, I think we're pretty close to done. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see these little vertical lines here. I'm just going to try to fill those in a little bit. Good. Looks great. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have one little smidgy area of filler. Oh. Very tiny area. Is there a line or anything else you want me to fill? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You're the expert. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lean back for a moment. I'm going to put some right underneath here. One. Two, three, four. Hmm. Great. And that's just a, just a smidge of volume. It just doesn't really do it too much except fill in the line a little bit. Okay, and that was Volvella around the lip area. Dr. Thea Grasha, have a great weekend.